Guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be doing a three month update for my hair transplant for the second one. Um, in a second, guys, I'm going to show you a ton of photos you're not going to want to miss. There'll be photos from before my first hair transplant I'll put on screen now. Then, right after that, put an actual picture up of me at three months into my first hair transplant. And uh, obviously, I had like no hair before the hair transplant. And then afterward, I had some hair, but it was small and little, you know. But it was still exciting for me at the time. And then uh, basically, let's fast forward to the one year mark, throw that picture on screen. And uh, obviously, I looked great, was super happy, but I only had hair in the uh, front portion of my head. And then the middle and the crown, I had like no hair, okay? Because um, I continued to lose that hair that was natural. Um, and that was part of my progression. I knew it was already going. And, you know, we already know. I was a Norwood Six pattern, so I was going to lose that hair. But um, basically, Wanted to go for a second hair transplant, touch up the front a little bit, make it even thicker and more natural, and then, of course, add grafts to the middle um, and into the crown a little bit, but we're going to leave the crown for a third hair transplant. So with that being said, second hair transplant, here's me with a buzzed head, and then I'll throw a picture up of me at surgery day, and at three months right now, I'll throw a picture up, and I'll take my hat off and show you what it looks like now. Um, actually, before I do, though, I am going to go ahead and selflessly promote myself. <laughs> um, I spent the last like almost year now um, talking about and making a product. Uh, basically, guys, I made a hair fiber. I'll throw a picture on screen of what I did to my hair. But this is it. It's dope. It's got the applicator. Um, I made a whole package. I'll put a link in the description to check it out if you're interested. Um, I'll put the Instagram and also the website you can buy it from. And the Amazon link will be there later. Um, Amazon should be up next week. And uh, yeah, so I'm super excited about that for the new year. Both links will be live. Uh, if it's not live when you guys click it, because this video might come out a little early, uh, maybe by like 24 hours or so, then just uh, check back. But super excited for it. Um, I think it's going to do really well. Obviously, this time around, guys, at three months, I have a lot more hair than I did the first time around, okay? Um, let's get close, though. You can see it's very thin compared to where I was at the one-year mark, all right? And I do a very intense light from above and a ring light in front. Um, you can see even when I put my hand over my head, I have a shadow. So it means I have a lot of light on me. And uh, yeah, so basically it is thinner than it was at the one year, which is normal because I just came out of Ugly Duckling, right? Um, it looks good. looks natural. It looks fine. Um, it doesn't look great, but it looks good enough. And basically right now is when you can see what I look like at my worst because I'm at three months. And basically, the first three months of your hair transplant, you shed out the hair that you had because of trauma from putting new hair in, which they did add a bunch of single hair grafts in here. And uh, then they added a bunch of grafts, approximately this area of my head. And yeah, so right now I can feel some pricklies coming in here. I can feel a ton in the front, which I assume is because the first hair transplant's hairs are still coming in from being like traumatized and falling out along with the new hair that was transplanted. Now, I had 2,800 grafts the second time around. If you remember the first time, about 2,650. So we are well over around the 5,500 mark. Um, I'll give you guys, in the next video, I'll do an exact. I do a three-month update with Dr. Panin next week. Uh, so next Friday, Dr. Panin will be doing my hair checkup in person. And when I do that, I will have all the numbers on screen for how many hairs, how many single, double, triple, quad grafts, all that good news. Um, from both the first and the second hair transplant. I want to give a real educational video on that for you guys. Don't miss it. And then, uh, yeah. But basically, I'm not going to lie, second time around, it has been harder going through the ugly duckling phase. Not harder. I guess harder and easier. It's easier because you have hair faster, but it's harder because you look worse than you did before the surgery because you lost hair. So... I know in like a month here, I would assume based on my last surgery at four months, I had a lot of hair from the three to four month period. I gained a lot of hair and by month five, I had a ton and six, I looked amazing. So based on that, I would say within three months, I should have some crazy results to show you guys both in the front. I would assume, I would assume within six months, I will look better than I did at the one year mark of last year. And then that should drastically continue to improve for the front. Um, because I have a ton of hair coming in, you know, that's new and old. And then, uh, I also have pretty awesome results I'm hoping for in the middle here. Cause I know they did a lot of double, triple and quad graphs up there, which will add a lot of density. There was a lot, put it this way, 
if you put a thousand single graphs here versus a thousand graphs that are between two to four, you're looking at, let's say three hairs per graph average there. And then you're looking at, or 2.5, three, whatever. Overall, it's about 2.5 hairs per graph on my head, um, which just means that when you average it all together and divide it, that's what it comes out to. Um, so basically, if there's a thousand singles in the front, then you'd be looking at 1,800 doubles, triples, and quads going through that area. So that's a huge amount of hair. I mean, you're talking 3,600 plus hairs moved um, to that area. So I should have pretty awesome results coming through. But we'll probably have to wait till month four, five, and six for that. Um, pimple wise, I'm not really having any pimples anymore. It, you know, that's pretty much over. I have a, like one once in a while. I get like one or two. I'll get an ingrown. You know, accidentally. Don't do this, but I have done it accidentally recently, a couple times. Like I was just scratching my head and I felt like a little like scab, and I just like picked it lightly, and then like not even like crazy, but just like a light scratch because it was like flaky, and like pulled some hairs out accidentally. Um, <clears throat> which is fine. I think it's just going to have to grow back. Basically those are going to go into resting phase and then they'll restart growing a new hair. So, all right, 20, 30 hairs in total. We'll have to like, you know, over the course of the last few months of me actually like rubbing them out or whatever. Um, of course, guys, you've got to be really careful the first 10 days. You cannot touch your head at all. Like do not hairs that come out in that first week could be permanently lost. Um, but at two, three months in, if hairs are coming out, it's not as big a deal to worry about. Um, but yeah, hopefully it's been educational and fun. I'm going to show a video real quick of my actual hair fibers going in because everyone always sees the photos and goes, eh, that doesn't look real. So I'm going to go upstairs right now and I'm going to actually film having the hair fibers put in my hair by somebody else so we can film it properly. Um, and I'll show you how much this transforms. So I'm going to pause this video, come back, and I'm going to show you guys the results live. Um, but I'll also show a clip of it being put in so you can see it like transform instantly, okay? Uh, but it's been pretty exciting to make that, guys. It's been a ton of work. If you do decide to try it out, guys, there is a money-back guarantee. If you're not happy with the results on it, you can return it. If you have questions on what color you should get, I'll make a video on that too. And I'll also, of course, you know, be happy to answer your Instagram post to me or a DMs or, you know, if you want to contact me via email, I'm a little slower at that because I'm still in my busy season. But happy to help you choose the right colors. And if you get the wrong one, we'll get you the right one. We'll figure it out. Um, really just hoping to get a lot of people to try it out because I think it is going to be an amazing product. And I do think that it's going to help a lot of guys with their confidence and people who are either in the ugly duckling stage and trying to like, you know, look normal again. Um, or maybe you, do, you, you know, maybe you haven't gone in for a hair transplant. And you just decide you're not going to do it yet and you're trying to wait. This can help you, you know, wait until you have the money to do it or if you don't ever want to do it can you know, make you look like a full head of hair for quite a while. Back, obviously I put the hair fibers in and uh, you could tell, obviously my crown was completely empty of hair pretty much and the middle is really empty and you can see how much it's done for that. Just move my head around so you can hopefully get a good view of everything. Um, but yeah, I did the hairline. I did the temples too a little bit. I don't know how I feel about it, but overall it looks really good, pretty damn natural. Um, nothing's a miracle worker guys, but this does last 24 hours in your hair and I can do a better job with it. My friend helped me out with it and basically they've never done the hair fibers before. So I was holding the camera off really about to see that in the video. <laughs> so between those two factors, you could do a better job and it's, yeah, every time you do, you get better. All right. So, um, yeah, basically I'll do a lot of videos showing you how it looks when I do it. And I didn't put the sunny spray in yet. That also helps a little bit too. Um, uh, but Thanks so much for watching, guys. Check out this bathroom video of me doing my hair so you can see it actually go in and how real it really is. And we'll go from there for next time. Thanks, guys. Hopefully you enjoy this three-month. Stay tuned for Dr. Panin. Guys, okay, so I told you no one ever believes me when I said that this stuff works really quickly. So I just sprinkled a tiny little drop on real quick. I'm going to have my friend help me out and put this in my hair. Or actually, I'll do it right now. I'm going to send Neil in the shower. Let me show you how this works. So as you can see, we're going to put it on my head. And just, you can put a lot on guys, or you can figure out whatever works best for you, but this really only takes a minute to do. Um, in the beginning, it might take you like two or three to go ahead and perfect it, but realistically, it should only take 30 to 60 seconds. And then, you know, you get the little uh, applicator for the front to just fine tune it. And then a little rag or toilet paper with a little water on it, wipe your forehead, and you're good to go. Um, if you wanna use some settings for you can. And then of course, 
You just let that dry, it takes a couple minutes. Setting spray you use from about 10 to 11 inches away. But you can see how much it's already starting to change. How's it looking? Good. Very awkward holding the camera like this. Okay. I just cleaned up my face. Obviously it was really awkward to do on camera, so I did it in the mirror. And uh, that's all I did, just basically wipe it along the ridge and then you're good to go. The better you get, the less cleanup you'll have. Uh, in the beginning, you're gonna have a bunch on your face. You just gotta like wipe it off with a little wet uh, paper towel or toilet paper or microfiber cloth, whatever works for you. Um, but then after that, just set your hair, hold the setting spray from 10 to 11 inches away. If you wanna use hairspray, you can. It just makes your hair um, obviously solid versus the setting spray, it leaves it a little softer and more malleable. Um, that's why we made it. Both work amazing, so you don't have to use the product if you don't want to, but it is great. Um, that being said, hopefully you guys are now believers of the product. Here is the final um, look at what it does. I mean, considering you saw how bald I was a second ago, I'm super thrilled with it. I know a lot of guys who try it and they feel super confident and happy with it. So hopefully you guys feel that confidence when you try it out. Um, again, that link's in the description. At least check it out, do me a favor. Tell me what you guys think of it. Thanks guys, peace. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, slap a like, comment, and thank you so much for subscribing. And if you haven't already, hopefully we'll see you in the next video. Peace.